every single Lance Stroll crash explained. Pre-season testing 2017. Lance Stroll would begin his Formula 1 career at Williams and his first crash would come at pre-season testing at Barcelona. Lance was already facing criticism for being a pay driver thanks to his father's incredible wealth. Now I wonder how that went. Lance didn't have just one incident but two. First spinning across the gravel at turn 5 on day 2 and again on day 3 which saw him damage his car enough to put an end to Williams running for the first test. With the Australian Grand Prix just days away, I mean surely it would get better. Australian Grand Prix 2017. Lance Stroll crashes out of FP3 at what was formerly Turn 10, hitting the wall and putting an end to his session. To make matters worse, Williams were forced to change the gearbox in Lance's car, which means, of course, he copped a penalty. He went on to retire from the race with a brake failure. Chinese Grand Prix 2017. Lance Stroll collides with Sergio Perez on the first lap. Lance went off, got stuck in the gravel, and that was the end of his Grand Prix. Bahrain Grand Prix 2017. During the race, Carlos Sainz was exiting the pit lane when he collided with Lance at turn 1. This completely ruined Lance Stroll's race and bought out a safety car to clear his Williams. To be fair though, I don't really think this was Lance's fault. Monaco Grand Prix 2017. Lance would crash in FP2 at Mazinet. He lost the rear of his Williams, slid into the wall before coming to a stop. Lance was particularly frustrated with this incident, comparing it to the struggles he faces on the F1 game at Monaco. And yes, he actually made that comparison. Malaysian Grand Prix 2017. Lance Stroll and Sebastian Vettel collide after the chequered flag. Cameras cut to Sebastian Vettel's Ferrari with a wheel resting on top of it. And after we saw the replay, we saw that it was Lance Stroll who was also involved in the collision. Canadian Grand Prix 2018. It's Lance Stroll's second year in Formula One and this accident at his home race was a big one. Brendan Hartley, the greatest Formula One driver of all time, collided with Lance Stroll on the opening lap, launching himself up the barrier while taking Lance with him. Both drivers were eliminated from the race and the incident was hotly debated. Was Hartley too bold to try the move or did Lance leave him too much of a gap? Let me know in the comments section. Spanish Grand Prix 2019. Lance Stroll took his talents to racing point. Lance would crash in FP1 and then again with Lando Norris during the race. I crashed, said Lance. Italian Grand Prix 2019. Sebastian Vettel comes back on the circuit like an idiot at Ascari. Lance is forced to take evasive action, spinning out and re-entering in a similar fashion to Sebastian Vettel. Tuscan Grand Prix 2020. Formula One went to Mugello in 2020. This was during the COVID-19 pandemic when we saw Formula One scramble to find racetracks that would be willing to put on a race with minimal or no fans in attendance. Lance had been doing well running in fourth place until a huge accident saw him crash out of the race thanks to a puncture. Russian Grand Prix 2020. On the opening lap of the race, Lance Stroll was hit by Charles Leclerc. This saw Lance spin into the wall and put an end to his Grand Prix. Portuguese Grand Prix 2020. Lance would collide with Max Verstappen during FP1. Usually pretty surprising considering we don't see drivers tangle too often during practice. And during the race, Lance would have a collision with Lando Norris. Bahrain Grand Prix 2020. Lance Stroll is flipped over by Danny Kvyat. One of those crashes which, yeah, looks pretty scary. But thankfully Lance was okay and was helped out of the car by some marshals. Azerbaijan Grand Prix 2021. In 2021, Lance Stroll remained at the now rebranded Aston Martin Formula One team. In Baku, Lance would suffer a high speed tire failure on the main straight. A truly scary crash when you're traveling at that speed, and I couldn't begin to imagine that feeling of the steering wheel suddenly starting to vibrate and let go, and all of a sudden, you are simply a passenger. Truly terrifying. Hungarian Grand Prix 2021. This brings us to the infamous pileup. But, but wait. This isn't all Lance Stroll's fault, of course. But he did take Charles Leclerc out of the race, and Daniel Ricciardo cop some damage too. Lance would cop a five-place grid penalty for the following race. Russian Grand Prix 2021. Lance and Sebastian Vettel, his teammates, they come together. Lance also spins Pierre Gasly, and then randomly loses it on his own when the weather started to change. For his incident with Gasly, he copped a 10 second time penalty. Mexican Grand Prix 2021, Lance crashes during qualifying. Saudi Arabian Grand Prix 2022, towards the end of the race, Lance and Alex Albon crash into each other. And 
I don't know. I don't think this one's Lance's fault. Australian Grand Prix 2022. Lance and Nicholas Latifi crash into each other during qualifying. A bit of a ridiculous incident which saw both drivers eliminated from the session and Lance ended up getting a penalty for this. Azerbaijan Grand Prix 2022. One of these crashes wasn't a big deal, but then the other one was. Hungarian Grand Prix 2022. Lance Stroll gets spun around by Daniel Ricciardo. Now, I probably shouldn't have counted this one, but I did. United States Grand Prix 2022. Fernando Alonso is inspired by Connor Moore's impressions and does his best impression of a Boeing 747. Running into Lance Stroll's rear, after Stroll kind of moved about a little bit, looking like Alonso nearly took off. Fun fact, Alonso finished P7 in that race. Bahrain Grand Prix 2023. Lance Stroll would collide with his new teammate Fernando Alonso, but still managed to finish P6. This is after his bike accident in the pre-season, by the way. Pretty good stuff. Australian Grand Prix 2023. Lance Stroll tags Charles Leclerc on the opening lap, sending him off into the gravel. Monaco Grand Prix 2023. Lance hits the barrier at the hotel hairpin, ending his race. Spa Sprint Shootout 2023. Crashed at turn 11, and didn't set a time. Singapore Grand Prix 2023. Lance Stroll suffered a heavy crash out of the final corner, which saw his Aston Martin completely destroyed. Lance hit the wall at approximately 241 kilometers an hour, and the impact was big enough that he was withdrawn from the race the following day. Thankfully, Lance was okay, and he walked away from the incident, and hopefully he'll be back in the car very soon. Are there any other drivers you'd like me to cover? If so, let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video i would really appreciate it if you hit like and subscribe you can follow me on instagram for some behind the scenes content and future video sneak peeks and as always i truly appreciate your support and taking the time to watch my content and i will see you in the next one